we have here? Well, this is a 1976 AMC Pacer. And what's so unusual about this car is it's original 46,775 miles. It was owned by a little old lady. She, uh, her family was a American Motor Rambler traditional family. She had to have this car and she ordered it with every option she could get. This has 19 options on it. Um, she had it for a while and then put it away in a garage where it sat until about a year and a half ago, two years ago, uh, where I bought it from her estate. Um, this has some very unusual options. For example, you've got the sport package, which includes the tachometer. Um, you've got AC, which blows cold. As you all hear, it's cold. Great. And I'm sure you can feel that. works. Down here you've got your clock, your temp, oil, so it's got the sport package. Um, everything works. Um, I think the most unusual item on this car is, and most people don't remember this unless you're our age basically, is uh, the fuel crisis of 1973-74 um, and uh, you know you just couldn't get fuel it was an absolute crisis and um, AMC in order to stay alive they wanted to make a very fuel efficient vehicle this is a six cylinder the unusual thing about it, it has pause attraction 2.53 rear end. Um, so, you know, that uh, coupled with the uh, engine, you should be able to get well over 30 miles per gallon uh, at highway speeds. Um, another very unusual item in this car is this was meant to be kind of an economy car, but the way it was equipped, uh, she ordered leather interior, well, which you're sitting on. The interior is as close to perfect as you can find it. I mean, there's no rips, tears, or anything. Um, the car drives quiet. You know, it's got all the cool features like the hatchback back there and fold down seat. It's got power steering, power brakes, um, of course, AC, heater, and all that. It's got the sport package and the sport wheels. And I don't know if you photographed the wheels on this. Not yet. But the wheels are very cool. So um, you need to catch those. But that was a factory option. And they're very nice so this is a very good running car um, I think there was a spot paint on it somewhere um, and I'm a car collector so I I check for these things pretty closely I saw a little bit of overspray um, you know and it's been a while since I've been in one of the corners Look, there was a looked like there was a little overspray, but um, you know, overall, uh, I think it's all original paint, and it's uh, it's a white, and it's a and it's got the the code in on the um, on the build sheet there. So, but it's um, um, a metallic. It's very pretty. So, you know, if you're looking for something very unusual, very well maintained, and something that will grab everybody's attention, yeah, no this is the car.
and it's extremely drivable. You can take this anywhere. So, and you know, when I drive it, I listen to it, and you can hear that the shocks, you know, you, you hear that they're working back there. They're active. Um, everything is tight on the car. Um, the only thing uh, that I had to do to it, I re recharged. It's still R12. Recharged the AC. Um, cleaned it up. Here's the radio. Heroes. An easy way to join Wounded Paw Project in the fight to save a paw right, to right. save a life <laughs> is through the gift of a vehicle. Donating is easy and, and free. You know, this one is, is in my mind, a, a no-brainer. Everything's just beautiful on it. Super. Well, thanks for sharing, Dana. Okay. You bet.